Now, when you look at it, you may notice that that doesn't actually look, well, what I would consider appropriate correct. Because if I look, notice how it's cutting through the circle and it's really not working properly and it's probably going to wobble around because of that circle, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to open up that guard again and we're going to do a little correcting fit. So um, guard, open. And I'm going to click on that extrusion. Oh, not that one. That one, there we go. And I'm actually going to delete the circle. And instead, what I'm going to draw is what essentially like a little slot right here in the middle. So, from here to here should be 0.926. Okay. Total thickness of this from here to here. 096. It comes up from here to here. 0.452. Okay, good. That's exactly where it should be. means that should be exactly 0.5, which is what it should be. And then I'm going to do an not the consume sketches, just delete it. Extrude, cut, all, okay, save. Final assembly. Now notice, look what happened. So as you work with design changes and you know what things are coming up, and we can look through. I simply made that one change to that one part that's saved in that one folder, and it odd updated it here to the assembly. That's all it is. So as you're working on different parts and things come up and you need to change parts of them, you can do that individually. So let's say I wanted to change the um, the color on the guard, just for an example, instead of satin brush, let's go pick, I don't know, let's see if we can find like a gold or something. Say titanium polished. Yeah, that works. And then I go to that final assembly, see how it's notice is changed. And that's all it takes to change and update parts as you're working in it. All right, congratulations, you completed that one. Also, that was a quick one.